Hey guys, we're going to talk about driving through neighborhoods, having good speed control, taking our time. Neighborhoods are the most dangerous place. When you're learning to take your test, you've got to be aware, you've got to be a defensive driver. We want to drive in the middle, right? We're in North America. People are walking, they're not paying attention. You want to be safe out here. There's also a partially controlled intersection. So this means that we need to be as safe as possible. We need to scan and look ahead. See, there's a guy on the scooter over there. He's got to obey too. If he's not careful, could get ran over. I don't want to see that happen. So we got a stop sign. So we want to stop. Now we want to move forward. We want to come up. And then we have to look left, right, and left. There's a lot of traffic. So I'm just waiting until it's clear. Now here's my gap, and you want to turn in the nearest lane. The nearest lane is by the yellow, because we're making a left turn. I'm also going to take you through a really congested area to give you a perspective of pedestrians. So this is to protect the left turn. It's clear. I make my left turn. And then this is a warning sign, uh, curvy road ahead. So this is really gonna give you some good information. I've seen cars drive on the wrong side of this road. So you really need to be looking and be aware of what's going on. This sign means keep to the right. We're gonna go into this busy area and we're gonna watch for pedestrians and cars. That white car has the right of way. And then I'm gonna turn, turning hand over hand in, hand over hand out. So I'm watching for pedestrians. Going slow, I'm looking. And sometimes the mirror will um, obscure or cover up your, your view. So I'm just trying to be as patient as possible. And I'm just gonna wait. Pedestrians always have a right of way. I want you, the little girl's got an invite, that's nice. I want you to really be that defensive driver and I take clients through here. Um, it's just part of your test, it just depends on the company and what's going on. I'm already up here so I'm gonna proceed through, taking my time. And I'm literally over scanning. I'm looking. You got a speed bump here that they want you to go slow. And you're probably saying, well, why are they stopped? Because pedestrians. I don't know what this person's doing. So I'm just watching. And I'm trying to be as careful as possible. And I'm gonna wait for them. He's looking and checking. I'm not gonna run you over. Then I'm going to proceed. They already got a smashed car, so that tells you something about them. And I'm just scanning and looking. And then I'm going to go around this route again to really help you and teach you my right turn signal so on. We got an uncontrolled intersection, so I'm looking. And then now we have semi trucks. They're parked, but there are four blind spots. There's one in the front. There's one to the side, there's one in the back, and there's one on the other side. There are four. So I'm looking, cars could speed out through here. And this is a learned behavior. A lot of beginners just don't look like this. And I'm really checking. Then I wanna go into the nearest lane and turn smoothly. We have a stop sign for us. I'm looking. Those cars do not, so I have to stop. And I'm gonna do that. And then it's clear that I'm gonna proceed again. We're gonna go up to the stop sign. We'll stop for three seconds. We're gonna go through the route again to teach you about pedestrians, cars, and safety. Here's our stop line. We stop behind the line. We look, oh, this truck's gonna make a really wide turn. Man, 
So I'm gonna go up to the edge, you can't see. So I'm gonna wait. There are a lot of cars here. So I don't see blinkers. See, they turn on the blinker at the last second. And you see me really looking. That car did not have a blinker and I don't wanna get hit. That car didn't have a blinker. Here's my gap and then I go. And if you overturn, you'll hit the curb. So we're gonna go through this course again. It changes every time. Right turn signals on. We're gonna squeeze the brakes. And I'm gonna go in slow about 10 miles an hour. And then I'm scanning. So he should be stopping. He's coming out pretty hard. No one cares, wanna be safe. And I'm just being patient. And I'm looking because I don't wanna have an accident. I have that beginning driver mentality. I'm a little jumpy. A little nervous just trying to look yes hold on to your child please little kids will run out so I'm at 10 miles an hour just going real easy trying to be predictable for pedestrians being safe they're kind of cutting through I don't know what they're doing I just don't know what this guy's doing so I'm just looking and I'm watching people are they young are they old are they distracted? Are they middle aged? So I'm gonna make a right turn again. And this is a good training route that I would take clients on. I'm really looking and checking, and then I gently accelerate. Oh, my foot slipped off the pedal. If you wear shoes with the have slippery bottom, it could slip off. So that, that, hear that noise? My foot could slip off, and that catches me sometimes. So you don't wanna cut it uh, short and just shoot the gap. I have to yield. There's a the car to my left. You'll see it come across my face from the left to the right. Okay. And then I gently accelerate through. This course is good to take clients around about three times. After that, it's going to overwhelm you and you will be stressed. So I try not to do that because it's going to be the loss of diminishing returns. I have a complete stop. Okay, I waved at him, appreciative. It's just communication. Then, I, if I wanna make a left, I've gotta get over to the left side of the road. A lot of beginners don't understand lane positioning. You're getting so much value right now. And if you're getting value, give it a thumbs up, give it a like, subscribe. I've gotta come up to the edge. Now I can see left and right. You just have uh, the the front view and the inside view of me looking. And that's fine, that's really gonna help you. So there are two cars to the left, the three cars to the right. This car's, I'm assuming, gonna make a, a, a right turn. So I'm just waiting. I'm not gonna shoot the gap, I'm gonna move up. And then I'm gonna accelerate across, and then I make my turn. Also, when it's really nice outside, you've gotta watch for people at car washes. They'll come out really fast, their tires are wet, and they'll spin out and crash. I've seen that multiple times before too. So I'm looking, and then I'm gonna stay in the first lane to the right. Going, and you can see the wet tracks on the ground. This is the shoulder of the road to the right. It is not for driving on. I've seen a lot of clients get tickets also. I'm gonna squeeze that brake real easy. And we want to see the rear of the tires on the ground. Your heart is beating because there's so many things going on. And there, there's so many observations. And you'll learn this in your driver's educa education class. And hopefully you'll take mine. And uh, we'll do the virtual class. So I'm going to squeeze my brakes. And then I have to make a right turn on this street. I get a lot of questions. We have a green, obviously you can go, but you have to look. And then I wanna turn in the nearest lane. Turn in the nearest lane. Keep it smooth, keep it short. The bike rider is doing the correct thing. They should be on the sidewalk because there's a sidewalk provided. And then you 
got to be careful at this fast food places. People are sticking french fries in their nose. They're not paying attention. So you really have to be aware of what's going on. And I'm going to pull over here. You see me turning hand over hand and getting the car in the lane. Let's talk about what we went over. Revealing the lesson. You need to work on your maneuverability. You need to be able to make good right turns, turning hand over hand into the turn, turning hand over hand out. I can't overemphasize observation skills, your eyes, E-Y-E-S. I have beautiful brown eyes. You have to analyze your environment. Am I in a neighborhood? Top three dangers, kids, people backing out, and people not stopping at controlled and partially controlled intersections. Pulling onto a main road, you have people who are not paying attention who will turn in the wrong lane. If you're on your driving test and you turn in the wrong lane, that could be a major fault or an error. If you run a light, that could be a major fault or error. That could be an automatic fail. We went through a shopping area deliberately twice. I showed you cars who don't use blinkers that are very dangerous. Cars having on blinkers, but they're going in the wrong lane. We are trying to yield, and we do yield for pedestrians. We always have to yield for pedestrians. So that is extremely important because pedestrians always have the right of way. We are learning how to be our best defensive driving self because defensive driving is what's going to save us as drivers and passengers as well as pedestrians because pedestrians are the most vulnerable road users. We saw a person on a scooter, a mini bike, that can go upwards of 30 miles an hour, low to the ground. Imagine making a right turn or left turn, you hit them, you don't see them. That's a life going just like that. We talked about dealing with the sun glare. It's very bright out here. But if I put my sun visor down, then I might not be able to see. And if I take it out and pull it out to the left, now I have a blind spot in my area. So I don't recommend doing that. Okay, that's one thing that is non-negotiable when I drive a class. Do not put your visor down to cover your driver's side window dangerous. You saw me really overemphasizing looking left, looking right, looking left. Really being patient and not taking chances to pull out in front of cars to shoot a gap because your foot could slip off the gas or accidentally hit the brake. I've had adults and teens do that. Very frightening. You saw me being extra patient at stop signs, at yield signs, not bullying as a driver, bullying cars and parking lots, bullying pedestrians because someone will get killed. And then you, the driver, will get blamed. It is very intense. My heart is pounding. I'm not going to lie. And when you're driving, if you truly care, C-A-R-E, about people, P-E-O-P-L-E, -E, if you care about people, you're going to cover that break. You're going to Take your time. You're going to allow the little old lady, the young kids to walk in front, the newly married couple. If you're a couple minutes late, that's fine. But if you're in that much of a hurry, you're going to end up making a fatal error. So I don't want you to do that. I thought this is very positive, very helpful, good teachable moments. Um, if you're learning how to drive, because I'm a state certified driving instructor, I live in the Midwest, I teach, I do classes every six weeks, adults, teens, private lessons, road test prep. You're gonna see some very interesting things this week. Uh, me putting together some nice clips for you for parking, road test, knowledge test, in car to help you navigate, no pun intended, to help you navigate through your road test, showing you how to make good turns, outside view, inside view, director's view where you can see my eyes looking left middle right because you have to have good eye movement so you're going to need to tell me what you want to see do you want more of the director cuts do you want more of the oh you do you want more of uh, the in-car 
GoPro type videos where you can see everything and see me looking out left and right. So you need to communicate that. And if this really brings you value, you need to subscribe because then I'm putting out a lot of high quality content, good information. Uh, so when you see it or you get the notification and you see that crispy thumbnail, you're going to click and then you, you're the, the, um, I have to keep my promise. And if I tell you it's road test, it's going to be road test. If I tell you steering or defensive driving, it's going to be that because I want to keep my promise. This is I'm a state certified driving instructor. This is driving with miles. I want to say thank you. It was a good learning experience. Hopefully you enjoyed yourself too. Give me some feedback. Bye.